the Thunder. Talk about yeah, disappointing for the Bucks. Well, we, we may yeah. have gone from My Lord. from disappointing to even more what disappointing. They won one more game than last season, despite adding PG and Carmelo. They and did I, lose Victor Oladipo, though. They did so lose Victor, but lost. in saying that, Victor was not Victor <laughs> yeah. when he was on the Thunder. Is so the Russ effect, which yeah. is a lot of <laughs> which the players yep, it did, yeah. that have left Westbrook somehow do seem to get a little bit better. But I think the way they ended their season with missing six consecutive shots in the span of 40 seconds to try and <laughs> tie it up was pretty much epitomized their season. <laughs> They're so close but they're just so far away. It's This team has the talent, and it really should be so much better, but at the end of the day, they just have fallen short. And they didn't even get to one of the powerhouses and lose to one, a Houston or a Warriors, and we say, oh, you took them to six. It's still a successful season to an extent. Yeah. To lose to the Jazz, who are relying, as good as the Jazz are, they're still relying on a rookie who outplayed your big three. Mm. And your yeah. big three may no longer be a big three. Paul George Brownie. He's, he's, he's I going just realised, yeah, why did I ask you? He's going home. <laughs> right. He's not staying he's in this mess. Staying. Take off your bias hat. Yeah. Is there any reason if you're Paul George why you would stay? No, there's no reason. If you watch the game, Mellow, I mean, not Mellow. Um, Westbrook. Westbrook. He wasn't getting him the balls and the ball in places where he should be spotting up and shooting. And the coach doesn't draw up any plays. And as Mello said, they had no strategy for him either. Yeah, It's, it's just a basket case there. Why would you want to stay there? And he, he's, uh, his player option is for $20.5 million. So I think he yeah. can get more money than that. Yeah. I think he'd be pushing 25, almost pushing 30 million wherever he goes. Yeah, obviously he did have a pretty bad game six. He had five <laughs> points on two of 16 shooting, zero of six from three. So that's not six turnovers. Your greatest. More yeah, turnovers than points. Than points, yeah. Not your greatest audition <laughs> tape for the Lakers. But I do think that it'll be unlikely that he's still with OKC. Unfortunately for OKC, it's very likely that Carmelo Anthony is still going to be with them because he has yeah, an he's... opt-in option for $28 million. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's silly good money to opt out on that. You'd be uh, silly because no other team's going to offer that. No, there's no team in the world that's going to offer Carmelo Anthony $28 million yeah. to jack up horrific shots at a horrific percentage. He's basically holding them captive, uh, holding them hostage at this point because he's got that huge contract. He came out and said afterwards, yeah, I'm not sacrificing no bench roll. That's out of the question. I have so much left in the tank and I bring so much to the game of basketball. Doesn't sound like a team player, does he? The only thing... He's never been a team player. The only thing I I could think happened is that OKC trade him to... Uh, one of those tanking teams that just needs to fill salary for the next but season. Does he still have that no trade clause, or does that go on after being traded no. to OKC? Well, they, they, I thought yeah. he still had that. They might even, or he, he might be the, the way You'd around that. You just say, well, you you either sit on the bench, you're coming yeah. off the bench as a six man, or you go there and you're the number one guy on that yeah. team. You're going to lose, but you're the number one guy on that team, mm. and that's that's what you said you wanted. So yeah, it's, I think it's still a tough sell because he always, he's always been the big market guy. Maybe if it's the Brooklyn Nets, you can convince <laughs> them to take him on. Would he really go to Brooklyn after playing at the Knicks? Well, he's not going to mm. win, is he? Yeah. I think it's, do you want to stay in a big ring. market? He's always been like, like the showdown between him and Phil Jackson. It was always, you have to trade me to like LA, yeah. Cleveland, only because LeBron's there. Yeah. That's it pretty much. Yeah. And, If you don't know why we're being so cruel on him, he shot 21% on three, despite taking over five attempts in the playoff series. He is renowned for putting up bricks. And it's just, look, in a way it's sad because he's such a good player and we've seen a guy like Dwayne Wade accept his role coming off the bench and be arguably their best player in a playoff series and give us some vintage moments while contributing to his team and then we've seen someone like Mello, who, if he accepted his role, yes, he may still struggle, but he's not going to be hurting his team as much as he yeah. is. It's just, it's a massive, it's a knock on him, to be perfectly Absolutely. honest, considering when you look at the way always been Wade's attitude, handled it. Though. It hurts his yep. legacy if you look at the comparison between those guys in the same draft year. Yep. And looking at their cap space issues, 
if Melo opts in, they have 117 million in guaranteed salary next year, which is already over the projected cap. That is before they re-sign Paul George, and that is before they re-signed unrestricted free agent Jeremy Grant, who they've been a lot better with than with Mallow yeah. on the floor. <laughs> so just like the Bucks, they have a big off-season. Sam Presti, they wish they still have an amnesty clause oh, yeah. to, to use. <laughs> that would be Mallow would be gone. Oh. Chopped. One of the think, first people to go is Billy Donovan. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, he, well. It's his fault. It's blatantly his fault. If you watch, they don't have an office. I still think it's mainly his fault. Even for Mello not playing that well, yeah. he, there's no. You watch them. There's no plays whatsoever. It's just Russ. You take the ball and run a mark. Yeah, and I'm when, not sure. You need I, a, a incredible coach to be able to control. The, the comparison Westbrook. I would make with Billy Donovan would be. I don't know how much you guys have followed the NBL over the last few years, but Melbourne United had... Love me some Melbourne Tigers. <laughs> They're still <laughs> Melbourne United, right. United. <laughs> United. <laughs> had Chris Golding and Casper Ware, who are two score first point guards. Oh, two decent. score first guards. But they were playing in a system where they were just told, shoot, shoot, shoot. They weren't um, put into a system where the movement... And they got a new coach, Dean Vickerman, this year. And he brought a whole new style to that team. And they won a championship. Yeah. And I know it's yeah. nothing in comparison to what the NBA is, but you just got to think that yeah, just a, a, a change in, in the style of play for that team will just bring wins. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously what they've been doing for the last few years Isn't just doesn't working. work. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and, and, a... and you can bring in as many stars as you want, but if, if, that, only adds one, if that only adds one win to your to your team. Something's wrong. Yeah, yeah. Especially it's... when you look at like Boston, who don't have the players but have the system, look yeah. what happens. 